Over the weekend, motorists and residents in the Belkota Yogun state capital felt the heat of the fuel scarcity in major Nigerian cities. As a majority of the fuel in stations had their gates closed, uh, refusing to dispense fuel to customers alleging adulterated fuel. Even as some stations opened for business this morning, residents and motorists lament the challenges faced to get fuel as their daily income relies on it. I've been here since uh, 5.30. I've been queuing on, on the queue since 5.30. There's no fuel at all, all over from uh, Obantoko. I drove all from Obantoko right down to NNPC now. The organization of pay, they are selling here, but people are not finding it easy anyway. My car is over there. I've been having an issue with some of the bad fuels that I bought. So even right now, I'm skeptical of where to even buy from. I don't even know the kind of fuel we're going to get from here. I don't know if it's the right one or the wrong one. So I just think we get the right fuel. What we just discovered is uh, those who went in with kegs always come out. Why the vehicle, those with vehicle have been here all along. But I guess probably the, there are extra charges on those with kegs. That is why they do have their they are attended so very fast, but we are hopeful, at least with time, maybe uh, we'll be a, a privilege also to get our home. They, however, advised the government to find the lasting solution to it. We want government to help us and then let the situation come back to, to normal because the suffering is too much. The government should pump out for it. The majority of them are saying that they don't have fuel. That's why they, they keep on locking their stations. Our refineries, actually the refineries in, in the south-south, even in the north, the one in Kaduna, I mean, they are all not functioning. So if they could be functioning and they are doing things right, then there will be fuel all around the nation.